Good morning. A beautiful Saturday here in South Central Pennsylvania. Beautiful day to fire up the fire pit. And I think we're going to do some, uh, some homemade chili with cornbread in a Dutch oven over the open fire. Uh, it's always a good treat. It's not going to be too hot. It's going to be in the 70s today, so I think it's a perfect day for that. I know it's not smoking and barbecue, but it's good eats. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you learned something and like it, hit the like and the subscribe and that little ding bell to get notified every weekend when I do a new video. Hopefully every weekend. You have a great day. Thanks. For today's libations, we're gonna have a Bloody Mary. And this is my lovely daughter, Lindsay Nicole. She's gonna show you how to make them. All right, friends. So, you can do Bloody Marys in many different ways. You can do simple and you can do crazy. We are gonna do simple today. So, you're gonna start with your cup of ice. You are going to, the instructions say, you are going to use one and a half ounces of your favorite vodka to four ounces of your Bloody Mary mix. We're gonna do two ounces of our not favorite vodka. This is just cheap vodka, but it's just some smeared off, but you can use, you know, whatever. So we're gonna do two ounces of that. And then make sure you get Zing Zang Bloody Mary mix because it is by far the best that you'll ever get. And I'm just gonna do a little pour here. Fill the cup up. Then I'm going to give a little stir and the next thing you do is you're going to make your skewers and this is where you can get fancy if you want. You can do bacon, you can do hard boiled eggs, I think there's some places that do like crabs and things like that. Um, for today we've got pepperoncinis and we have some feta cheese stuffed olives. So you're just going to kind of make them on the skewer. I realize now that looks a little inappropriate. Um, <laughs> But that's okay, that's all right. We're just gonna kind of stick that in there. And we're going to sprinkle with some hot sauce. I got Cholula, you can use whatever you want. And this is for my boyfriend and he likes spicy, so we're gonna give it a good douse. And there you have it, my friends. You can also do celery sticks. Oh yes, yeah, celery sticks. Simple, Bloody Mary. Yes, that's just how we occupy the little ones. Hi. That's a big pool. Yeah, we're just putting a little bit of water in that We got our ingredients ready for the chili. Um, we're gonna first put our hamburger, or oil, hamburger, and onion in the Dutch oven on top of the fire. Get that browned up real good. And then we're gonna add the garlic, our seasoning, which is cumin, chili powder, and salt. And then we're gonna add our black beans, red beans, and our tomato paste and diced tomatoes with green chilies. That's all mixed in here and we'll add that after and then let her cook. And uh, after it's ready or when it's ready and it's cooked a little bit, then we'll take the grate off and we'll put the um, cornbread batter on top. And then we will take the whole Dutch oven, put it in the coals and cover the top with the coals so it bakes at 400 degrees for the cornbread. And then we'll 
will be eaten. And we're going to preheat the Dutch oven. So we're going to get it nice and hot, put it in on over the coals right now to heat up. All right. First, we're going to do two tablespoons of olive oil. Put that in. And I'll put in the one large onion, chopped. And two pounds of ground beef. Nothing like a campfire. Smell of that wood smoke. That's why I like to smoke stuff so much. Just love the smell. Okay, our ground beef's about ready, so we're gonna put in our garlic. Turn that around a little bit, then I'm gonna put the spices in. Almost missed it. Stir that around, let it simmer for about 10 minutes. After we add the, oh, one minute, yeah, never mind. <laughs> One minute, and then we will add the beans. It's been about a minute. Yeah. So now we're going to add the beans and the tomato paste. Oh, Mr. Fools. And the tomatoes and the chickens. Now we're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. It's a little full. Okay. I, hope we can fit. I was going to say, I hope we can fit the corn. Hopefully it will green or condense down a little bit. Ten minute timer going. All right. Okay, we've got the chili off and the grate off, so we're gonna flatten this out a little bit, make room so we can pour our cornbread that we've already mixed into the chili pot, and we're gonna put it in here and then cover it up with these coals so we can cook it until it reaches temperature about 400 degrees. Down into the coals. Shouldn't you put the cornbread in first? I guess we could do that first. All right, here's our pre mixed cornbread mix. We're going to put the recipe down below in the video so you can link to it and get out the smoke. Put the lid on it. 
set this down in the cold. That ought to get it up to temperature. We'll check it in about 10 minutes. Alright, it's been 20 minutes. We're going to show these coals off of here. Should be done. Like the juices came up a little bit through the cornbread, but mixed in with the chili, that's going to taste pretty good. And there we have it. And next, we're going to put the grate back on and get the cast iron skillet out, and we're going to make some grilled cheese sandwiches to go along with our chili. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put this lid back on for now so it stays hot. You always got to have a handy fireplace poker. Otherwise, you're in trouble. <laughs> All right, we're good. You're rolling. Okay, so we are going to make our grilled cheese, which is nothing special, just some Texas toast, some butter, and some white American cheese. I'm going to make it just the same way you make any grilled cheese sandwich. I'm going to coat one side of the bread with butter. And I have my cast iron over there. It's not quite on the heat yet. It's kind of sitting off to the side because I'm not ready yet. And I think I'm going to do two pieces of cheese on each grub cheese sandwich. Good idea. All right. So I'm just getting some butter melted in my pan here. And what? All right. I think we're ready. Alright guys, and there you have it. We have our campfire chili and cornbread, and we've got our grilled cheese sandwiches on Texas toast. You'll have to excuse my dad. He has tuckered out and did not make it through the entire process, so I had to take over. 
because this is what happens when you get old. Anyway, uh, we're all done. I'm not sure how this part works. I think you're supposed to like hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I believe that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I hope you have a great day. I heard what my daughter said and I'm not too old. <laughs> <laughs> There's the finished plated food with the chili and cornbread and the grilled cheese sandwich. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Yeah, she's missing a beer. I'm gonna fix that right up. <laughs> and I'm glad she told you to like down below and hit subscribe and the little, the little, little bell. You gotta hit the little bell so you get notified when I give you new videos. I did not say that part. All right. Y'all have a great weekend. Love y'all. Bye.